Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to work in this book here. This is the Forest Girl coloring book, the uh, premium edition. It's the hardback one. The other two I have are soft covers. And this one also has um, thicker paper with a lot more um, texture on it. It's probably like a watercolor page. They're also stitched in and they have a little line here so if you wanted to cut your page out you can. So it's a really pretty book and I haven't really done anything in it yet so I thought why not we'll do a, a page in here. I'm going to try it with my polychromos and see how it works out. Sometimes uh, this paper kind of leaves it with a lot of um, extra texture but I can bring in Tombos to uh, clear or th make it look a little more unsplotchy I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> We're going to work on this page here. Um, she's kind of in a little brown dress with a rug. Uh, she's got the reflection and then I love the background. I think that's really pretty. I'm going to try to um, do that. So we're going to pull some of those colors over here. Well, I don't know if it's going to actually look anything like that page. Half of the time it um, <laughs> it looks a little similar. <laughs> That's all I can say. So I got some browns out and um, I think I have a cream out here because her dress is a little splotchy. Uh, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, an outfit I used to use when I was in the brownies. Uh, like Girl Scouts, uh, the young Girl Scouts, <laughs> before you become a Girl Scout and wear green. Anyway, here we go. We're going to start off with a burnt sienna and bring up the wrinkles from the bottom of the dress on both sides because we have the front of the dress over here and the back of the dress over here. So we're just going to go down here and kind of bring these lines up and also trace over the grayish lines that are down there. Okay. If we trace over it, then it doesn't look like a brown skirt with gray bits and bobs at the bottom. Same at the waistband here. It's going to be a little tighter, so we're just going to bring down some at angles. Does she have a bow back here or not? Does not look to be a bow. Just to crumple up there. Okay. Those are ties that come down. I'm not sure if we're going to see those. <laughs> Another set of ties there. Okay, we got our darker lines and then we'll just bring down some of that softly. Do the same thing coming up. Then on the top. Thank you. 
Okay, and then we're going to go over and do the same thing on the front. Bring down the lines. Tighter at the waist. Try not to get the puppy's nose. He's looking in the mirror too. <laughs> He's dressed up with a scarf. A plant down here, so we don't want to mess with that too much, but we want the brown to come up the skirt. Straps that come down. Okay. Got to add just a little more brown on this side of the skirt. Okay, then we have the main color going down. We have to darken it a bit. So we're going to bring in a dark umber and pull some of that down.
exactly sure what this part of the dress should look like. And just get some really heavy creases in there. Go. It's looking pretty good. Let's see. Um, I have this Tombow out 912. It's kind of a, like a orangey color and we're going to add this in here a little bit. mentioned but they're putting a roof on a house across the way so if you hear a bunch of hammering that's what it is can't remember the picture that we are looking at on the other side is watercolored and we want to give it some splotchiness in here for that look And I don't have a pencil that um, will do this effect. <laughs> that a lot of work. So I add some here. Okay, then we have a nice light brown.
Okay. A lighter brown. Give you the number. Oh, it's Let's see what else we can do. I think we have that nice little yeah, gets that's a little darker than I wanted. Okay. Leaf here. Let's do the leaves. We've got some in the jar here. Pull them up. Take the uh, blender too. We're going to pull some of that color out. Let's see if this will work. Blend it that way. We got a little blended there. So what we'll do is use a pencil from that on. Do, 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 lost the cap. It's a clear cap. <laughs> Go on there. So we'll bring in uh, earth tone green and uh, the chrome oxide. When those dry, as they have to dry. All right. Um, Gonna bring in a little black for the dress. Gonna outline these. And bring down the tails so you can see them. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to turn the book a little bit. Just using the black as a shadowy area here. Darkening it down there, bring in the ivory, Can highlight some areas. Bring in raw umber. And a little bit of uh, fair bister. We want it to still look brown, not yellow. So a little bister will calm down the reds.
everything else. Okay, now to get the splotchiness that the other page has, kind of like this, um, I don't know, reflection coming in, we're going to take our eraser, and where our lines come down on the mirror, we are going to be semi-erasing a little bit of this on this side. line that comes down there. Oh dear, the eraser needs to be changed. Hold on just a moment. Okay. Just add a couple more lines in here where you think the mirror would come down in a reflection. There's probably a little one over here too. You just have to remember that this is the reflection. So we can keep it going in the same angles. And there we go. We get her reflected. And this one we're going to add some little dots in here. to try to get that um, little splotchiness that she has going on. Kind of comes over to this side. And then we're going to rub it so it blends it a little bit more into there. Can add a little bit more of the ivory in there to highlight some of those pieces. Okay. Want to keep our fabric pieces in the right spots here. Um, I think it's that one. I think it's this one. Okay, and we have her blouse. Let's see, nice soft 
gray brown <laughs> which would be your warm grays if you wanted to bring in some warm grays onto that and the sepia probably will make a nice darkness on there get you down just a little closer for that okay we're gonna go with um warm gray Oops, let me turn these around so i can see them two and three and then sepia so i'm going to start off with two. Oh, so sorry <coughs> my arm got cut okay the little shadow lines are kind of here so just kind of follow those if you see a little crinkle here, you can bring that in, make a little highlight there. It's another little wrinkle that comes on on that side, connects to this piece a little bit. If nothing else, just look at your long sleeve shirt when you pull up the sleeves, and you'll know where your creases go. <laughs> There's a seam here, so that has to be darker. And then the shirt comes down, kind of crosses here because she's got her arms up. Doing her hair in a cute little ponytail up there. Another crease on this side. Kind of gets messed up in her hair up here, so just kind of shadow that area. Another little crease. Try to make the same creases on the other side, but they're in reverse. You don't necessarily have to make this darker because it is not behind her. This arm is not, um, not shadowing in a mirror. That's what I'm trying to say. If they were two people, it would have a shadow, but it's a mirror, so it's just a reflection. go in with the number three just a little darker make sure we keep those crease lines Tiny bit of sepia in here. I should probably sharpen that because this is just going to be our outline pieces. 
like in our neck of our shirt we have ribs that come up we want to see those and the stitch line that goes here when it comes around her neck same on the sleeves the little lines a bit of darkness there Okay, now we're going to bring in a little bit of white. Give it its highlights. This white is the whole bind white. Make sure the tip is clean. And we just want to make sure our highlights show up. Blend anything in that we want. Blend it in. Add some of that into the skirt too if you want some extra highlights in there. And this could go across where we want our mirror reflections too. Okay. I think we can do our little sockies here too. They're the same as this shirt. They're white. <laughs> so we'll just go in here. This one's a little darker than the one in front. You can't see them on the other foot, so. I mean, in the mirror. I guess she, she's got a little bit of a leg here, but it's covered up with the um, squirrel, chipmunk, whatever you want to call him. The little dude. A little bit of white. And our slippers are brown, like her dress. So, we'll go in with a little burnt sienna. Brown ochre.
cream. Do, 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 do. Um, walnut brown. Bring in a little highlight on the slipper top. Get rid of the line I had there. A little lighter down here. And then we'll bring in a little black. Kind of give it its lines back. Little shadow underneath the foot there. And there we go. Alright, the leaves are dry, so let's go ahead and get those done, and then I will call it. Let's see. Dark light. Bring in some dark on the tips here, if I can find them. Oh, sorry, keep touching that. And that was the um, oxide green. This is the earth green. Same thing down here. You just kind of make it look like it's got leaves on it. 
We're going to bring in the ivory. A little of the white. the bottle too. Let's see. Bring in the same colors we did the shirt. Give it kind of a reflection in there also. And then when we get back in part two, we'll be adding in a lot like her skin tones and her face and coloring these guys. So that's what we got so far. I'll take a picture and leave it at the end of the video. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Or if you just want to say hi, go ahead. <laughs> And I will see you in the next uh, video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.